Hey everyone, so Adobe After Effects 2019 is coming out very soon and it has a ton of cool new features. And one of my favorite new features is this responsive design for time. Now this gives you really tight control over your animations. So let me show you how and why we would want to use this. So here I have a little sample animation. It's three seconds in length. It has an intro and an outro animation, a simple scale up and rotation for the intro, and then a scale down and rotation for the outro. Each one of these is uh, specifically 10 frames in length. So now what I want to do is I want to pre-comp this. I want to be able to use it as a nest in other sequences and I want to be able to have the flexibility to easily retime, change the duration, move it around without having too much trouble. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a marker just so we can visualize exactly where these animations are. So I'm going to set the duration to 10 frames, label this yellow, I'm going to add another marker here. It'll be yellow, 10 frames. And now I'm going to go to my master sequence here. I'm going to bring in, and now we can see specifically where these animations are. I can easily move this around and those keyframes will follow. The problem is, is when I want to change the duration. Let's say I want to trim this down, make it two seconds in length. So I can trim it down to two seconds, but as you can see here, this animation doesn't move. These keyframes don't move. So now when it ends, it just kind of cuts out. And the same thing happens for, for the intro here. If I trim this down, those keyframes stay the same. So now it's simply going to cut in and cut out. So let me undo that. So one thing I could do is I could retime it with a stretch tool. Now, but the problem is as I do that, you can see that it's changing the length. Let me zoom in just a little bit so we can see what's going on. It's actually changing the duration of our intro animation. So now you can see our intro animation is twice as fast. It's uh, just about five frames as opposed to 10. So responsive design is going to fix these problems. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Now I'm going to go up here. I'm going to duplicate my sequence and I'm going to rename this hello with responsive design. So now I can add this uh, a number of different ways. If I double click on my marker here, you can see there's a new section here. It says responsive design for time. So if I click on that and select OK, you can now see that there's this little shaded region. And when I move my marker duration, you can see it covers that. Now, th this is a new protected area, and this will keep these keyframes protected when you do any changes to it. Now, that's one way that you can add the responsive design. You can also go up to composition, and there's a responsive design for time section here. It gives you three options, create intro, create outro, or create protected region from work area. So this is essentially going to add those markers with the, um, with the responsive design automatically selected. So what I can do is I can just simply double click on my marker that I've already created, select protected region, OK. And now what I can do, go back to my master animation. Now watch what happens. I'm going to bring in this new sequence with responsive design. So now we can see what's going on. Now watch what happens when I change that. Now you can see that that outro animation is sticking to the end there. So now let me turn off this first one. Now we're just looking at our second sequence here. So now you can see that's really good. So if I move the end there, I can quickly retime this and I can move it around, retime it. And if you take a closer look, you'll notice that these intro and outro animations are still exactly 10 frames in length, no matter how I change this. So that's really, really helpful. Speed up your workflow. Now, if we take a closer look down here at the stretch, you'll notice it's changed from 100% to 55.5. And why exactly did it do that? Well, that's how After Effects is handling this responsive design. It automatically adds this stretch to the clip, but preserves those particular regions. Now, why is this good? Well, I can basically expand this longer than the preset length of my pre-comp. So for example, this pre-composition is only three seconds, but I can expand this longer and you'll see it just goes above 100%. And I still have my perfectly timed intro and outro, so I can quickly manipulate this to whatever length I want. With this particular one, let me turn the visibility back on. If I wanted to make this longer, um, you're going to see I can't. I'm trying to drag this right and I can't. I can make it shorter. I can't make it longer. So to change the actual length, I would have to open up this sequence, go into composition settings, and then manually type in a new length. 
So you can see that's a huge, huge difference to working with this responsive design clip. So you can tell now why this is a really, really cool feature. And for all you folks that are creating motion graphics templates to use in Adobe Premiere Pro, this also carries over to those MoGrid files in Premiere Pro. So it's very, very cool. All right, so let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you like this new feature? Are you gonna be using it? And if you like the tutorial, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.